What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using a Kieran White Snow Team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Kieran White in past games, it was decent. It was okay. But now with the new addition buff of Snow in Generation 9, Kieran White actually becomes a massive threat in the competitive scene. So we're using it today with the Lola Nine Tails to set the Snow, get the Snow buffs, all that good stuff, and have this Pokemon really thrive out. But Kieran White getting us started with today's team preview in the top left hand corner with Turbo Blaze and the Assault Vest as item, making it as bulky as possible. It's got Fusion Flare for coverage, Freeze Dry, Blizzard, and Earth Power. Furthermore, it's got the Fire Terror type to make Fusion Flare do a little bit more damage, plus that's a nice little defensive Terror type. Other Pokemon on today's team, like we already mentioned, features Ninetales. Ninetales is going to be perfect for that Snow Setter. On top of that, it's got Light Clay and Aurora Veil. If we can get that set up, all of our Pokemon are going to be super bulky. Aurora Veil is just a Reflect and Light Screen in one. It's got Hal, it's got Icy Wind, it's got Encore. I love Encore in this format. Works so well, especially up against Fake Out users. Cannot go wrong with it. Two other Pokemon on today's team features My Shout and Corviknight. Corviknight's here to boost defense with Iron Defense. Body pressed up. Eventually roost, get back HP, and then just like constantly just be a threat on the field. My shell's over here faking out, has wide guard, close combat, triple axle, so it can hit hard. It can also fake out and protect Pokemon from double hitting moves. Our final Pokemon for today's team is going to be Ogre Pond and Chi Yu. One big physical attacker, one big special attacker. Don't really need to talk about these Pokemon. You guys have seen them plenty of times on the rank ladder. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Kieran White in ranked. We're hopping into our first match. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team. It's kind of half Trick Room, half not. I mean, they got Raging Bolt, they got Urshfu, Incineroar, Amoongus, and Frigraph. So it's more Trick Room than not. But something that screams at me for this team is no weather control. So I can easily go into a Lola Ninetales and set up the Aurora Bell, which I absolutely love. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And alongside with... Uh, Ninetales, I think just going into Kieran White is going to be a great play for us. Kieran White is a special attacker, so Intimidate won't really affect us either. I love it. I do like that. So that is exactly who I am going to end up leading. So I'm going to go into that. Um, they do have Incineroar, which could be a slight little problem for us, especially if they lead it. They can fake out and kind of just be a little bit of a problem, but again, we should be fine. I want to check out Core of Knight's stats real quick. 88 speed. Not bad. I mean, they have a lot of physical attackers. So I kind of want to go into Corviknight, especially with Mirror Armor. I like that. And then last but not least, we will go into Ogre Pond. But I love Corviknight's name, Ray Lewis. <laughs> it's just so funny. It really is. But that's going to be our squad. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one with Kieran White. But previously, I did showcase Kieran White on the casual ladder. This Pokemon was actually really good. So I'm actually excited to be using it today. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, grab ourselves a win here. But, let's see who they lead. Hopefully not Incineroar. Probably Incineroar, right? Yeah, Incineroar. I mean, what, what do I expect, right? What do I expect? So, obviously, I can go into a War Bell. Um, I could just go into a Blizzard here. I could go into an Earth Power if I want to as well. I could definitely go into an Earth Power. So, the thing here is I'm kind of scared of Flare Blitz, right? I'm definitely scared of Flare Blitz. I could try to just go for a War Bell. Oh, we do have Ghost Terror type, so you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. We're just gonna go Ghost Terror type and just say screw the uh, screw the fake out, right? And then we just drop a Blizzard. I think we just Earth Power this Incineroar. Let's just try to do some damage because if I had to guess, they have to be faking out the Nine Tails, right? I would do the same thing. I'd be like, yo, War Belt. Let's try not letting that happen. Let's fake it out. Because what I would think they would want to do is just fake out the Nine Tails, set up the Trick Room, and then just Flare Blitz the Nine Tails next turn, right? Makes a lot of sense. So we're just gonna try slice into Ghost. Fake out is going into that slot, so that's a solid play for us. Into the Ghost Terror type. Aurora Veil is going to fly here. We have this for eight turns with the Light Clay. Love me an eight turn Aurora Veil. Earth Power is going to fly here. Do a little bit of damage. About half, which is solid. Probably Trigger Berry. And no, you're not rocking a berry. So another. Another nice little. What's it called? KO. Nice little Earth Power. So now we are going to. Probably just go for an... Uh, I might want to swap you. I could actually Encore you into Trick Room. Obviously, we go last, so... I don't know what he's going to do here. I honestly don't know what you're going to do here. I could swap Ninetales into Corviknight, because now it's actually a good turn to do that. 
Swap him straight into Corviknight. Yeah, I like that. We're going to swap Ninetales for Corvo. And from here, I think we just drop Blizzard. But I think you're going to either Parting Shot or just swap Incineroar here, right? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. So out comes a nice little swap. Corviknight's going to fly out here. We like this Pokemon. And Dazzling Gleam's going to fly. The so Gleam comes out here. It's going to be super effective on the Kyrim. Not really doing too much damage, though, which we love. And out comes the knockoff. So our Assault Vest is now gone. So our vest is gone. I don't mind having this, uh, this what's called on the field, this Corviknight. Because now I can go for an Iron Defense here, which I really like. And I can go for an Earth Power just to try to finish you off. I like that. So Corviknight looking to get bulked up here. You're probably going for a Flare Blitz into Corviknight slot. If you do, you do. No big deal. I don't have my Assault Vest anymore, which kind of sucks. Kieran's going to take a little bit more damage. Corviknight soaks no problem. And from here, you are going to go for that Flare Blitz, which we should soak no problem. Yeah, we soak pretty well. You're gonna die out to recoil, right? Oh, and Rocky Helmet. Yeah, get on out of here. So you're gonna die out here. Corvo Knight is gonna get this Iron Defense boost set up. Um, I would love to pop a Roost next turn and get back some HP. I would love that. Absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. Earth Power is gonna fly here, do a little bit of damage. And if I had to guess, the horsey's coming out here, right? The horse is coming out here, right? Is the horse here? The horse could be annoying. It's gotta be the horse, right? It's gotta be the horse. No! Giraffe. We don't like the giraffe. The giraffe is actually so annoying. Two giraffes. Double long neck. Alright, that's cool. Um, Yeah, honestly, I mean, you pretty much just KO me here, right? You could just KO me. I mean, I'm gonna go into this and I'm gonna go into a blizzard. But I do have this lovely War Bell out here. They're gonna end up terrestrializing the Raging Bolt, which kind of sucks. But I still like the Pokemon that I have in the back end. So if we lose Corviknight here, we lose Corviknight here, no big deal. We are still wasting out these Trickling Turns. He's gonna go straight into Electric. I could've just Earth Power that slot. And Helping Hand, what are you going for here? Are you attacking Kyrim or Corvo? You gotta be attacking Corvo, right? We actually Body Press before anything, so we like that damage. Thunderbolt's gonna fly here. We don't have Assault Vest anymore, and yeah, you are taking out Corbin. So I, I'm fine with that. We get off a of Body Press before that? I'm so cool with that. I'm so cool with that. Out comes a Blizzard that's landing 100% of the time, and we get a crit on the Giraffe. We crit the Giraffe, which is huge. The Giraffe gets critted. Um, could most likely just go into Ogre Pond here, or I could go into you. And Ogre Pond's... Hmm. How do I feel about Ogre Pond here? How do I feel about Ogre Pond? Because there's going to be one turn left in Trick Room. We already know that. that there's going to be one turn left in Trick Room. Um, at this point, I could just Spiky Shield it. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. We could just Spiky Shield it. We could just Spiky Shield it. They're going to bring out the horse, right? Yep, there's the horse. You guys ever see that Family Guy episode where it's like... Peter gets the horse, and then it like shows up in the room, and Lois just like, Peter, the horse is here. That's how I feel. Peter, the horse is here right now. The horse is here, and something just ended. Was it Trick Room? No, it wasn't. I thought something just ended. We have one turn left in snow. Um, obviously, we are going to want to go into a spiky shield here. Um, I want to try to make sure this thing actually dies out, so I'm going to go for an Earth Power into that slot. I'm gonna spike shoot up. Chances are you go for a glacial lance and like a thunderbolt into my into my Kirim. And we're actually hoping you're thunderbolting into Ogre Pond here. To be honest. Let's see. Let's see. Because we actually soak rather well. Drake Meteor's gonna fly. Okay, never mind. So you drop your special attack. That's fine. Your special attack drops down real low. I get to bring out nine tails now. Um Huh. Might as well howl up, correct? Correct, we might as well howl up here. Get that attack boost for our Ogre Pond. Right, I'm not too worried about this Raging Bolt at this point. It's low HP. On top of that, it's uh, minus two on special attack. We could just go for Horn Leech just to get back some HP, but that would be a next turn kind of play. I'm going to go for an Ivy Cudgel, and I'm just going to go for Howl here. I'm going to go for Howl. I am gonna go for how they could try to pop another trick room, which would be a smart play. 
Solid first match so far. Just this horse is bothering me. Luckily, the horse didn't pick up a KO, right? Because then it would have went plus one on attack. Which would have made it way more scarier. So they're probably thinking out of what they should do here. They do not know that I have Hal on this Nine Tails. This could work well, this plus one attack here. There's Hal getting that plus one boost on my Ogre Pond. And I, because we're going to fly here, how much damage is doing? I don't think it's KOing, but... Oh, wow. A lot less than I thought it would. And a Snarl comes out here. Chill! Chill, Snarl and me. The Snarl's not doing too much damage. You going for Glacial Lance here? You going for Trick Room. The Trick Room flies. Speed is back in their favor. We're going to go for... Do I go for another... Do I go for a Horn Leech this time? Yeah, I mean, you're going to hit me. I'm going to go for a Horn Leech here. Get back some HP. And I'm gonna just going to look to Howl up again. I am just going to look to Howl up again. Because honestly, Ninetales isn't doing much with that special attack drop. And we just need to get back some HP. Wow, yo. That thing soaked like crazy. That soak was insane. So now comes Glacial Lance here. Critting my nine. Are you kidding me? Critting my nine tails? Yeah, no, that's a game. That's a game now. That hurts the soul. Can I get a crit? Can I get a crit? You get a crit. I get a crit. Let's let's take the trade. Let's take the trade here all day. Thunderbolt. We should soak this. Really a crit. Now you're plus one on attack. Thunderbolt not doing too much here. Horn leech flying through here. And there's no chance that I get a crit. Hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul losing like that, because now Glacial Lands can just finish me off. Unless it doesn't, but uh, hey, chances are it does, right? Chances are it does. That's tough news. Real tough news on my end. Real tough news. Here comes the Glacial Lands. Bop, bye bye See you later. Get on out of here. That's going to be game. 0-1 to get things started. Thought we played this one really well, but this horse just ends up getting the best of us at the end. Not gonna lie, I cannot find a match on the rank ladder as of right now. I searched four times in a row, could not find a match. I'm actually hopped onto the casual ladder, searched three times, and now I finally found a match. So we're on the casual ladder, trying to finish out the, the other two battles for today's video. And we're going up against a crazy cool Gliscor team with Groudon, um, Houndstone, Titar, uh, what is that, Sandaconda, and Great Tusk. So they got Sandstorm, and they have two ways of weather. Sandstorm and Sun. So from here, I mean, we definitely want to bring in Ninetales, but more of a back-end Pokemon. So I'm going to end up leading a Pokemon like my shell here. I think that's great for us. On top of that, I kind of like the Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond is going to work wonders. It's going to work well. And then we can just bring the Ice Squad in the back end, right? Because Ice is pretty much super effective onto all these guys. That's going to be my lead here. That's going to be my lead. That's who I'm going to want to bring here. And we're looking for a win here in match number two. Considering we're sitting 0-1, lost to the Ice Rider Calyrex team, looking for our first victory. But this seems so sick. I love me some Gliscor. I love me some Gliscor. I kind of want to get my hands on this team to showcase it. So if for some reason you're a viewer of the channel, this person out in person, Ryu, send me this team. I want this team. This team looks awesome. But they're going to end up leading Gliscor and Great Tusk, which is totally fine by me. I mean, I can fake out turn one here. Um, and I can really just start attacking. I could just go for triple axle. He probably doesn't know I have triple axle, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go triple axle, and I'm just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel into the slot. That's fine by me. Triple axle going to fly here. Four times super effective. That's what's so great about my shout is people don't even realize that this thing's rocking triple axle. So we just get rid of Gliscor turn one. <laughs> get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. Get it on out my face. Glass is gonna faint. He's most likely going for an EQ. But Ivy Cudgel's gonna do some damage. Gonna do some damage. Look at that damage. He's gonna go for a rollout. I haven't seen that move in a while. So rollout's gonna fly here. Hot start for us. That triple axle was just perfect. Like I said, they just weren't expecting that. And Titar is now gonna fly out here. So now it's actually a solid turn for us to just swap Titar or uh My Shell into uh into what's it called? Into Ninetales. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap into Ninetales and... Do I just Spiky Shield here? I think we just honestly just get rid of this thing. Don't let us roll out stack. So I'm just going to swap into Weather here. I'm going to bring out the Ninetales. I'm going to get rid of this Great Tusk. And I wonder what T-Tar is going for. 
We get rid of the Great Tusk. So hot start for us in match number two. See you later. Bring us up back up the pool. Pretty close. 10 HP away. I'll take it all day. Titar's chilling here on the field. Maybe going for a rock slide. He's going to go for a crunch. He's going to crunch and do a nice chunk of damage. Yeah, Titar hits hard. And he gets defense drop. He's life orb as well. Okay, so Titar, yeah, hitting hard. Titar's hitting hard, and they're forced to bring out Groudon. So Groudon now comes out onto the field. Um, I'm really hoping that I can outspeed. I'm going to go back into my shell here. And I'm really hoping you outspeed because I would love to just go for Horn Leech into this T-Tar slot. Considering we would do more damage in the T-Tar and we would get back a lot more HP. So we're hoping Ogre Pocket just outspeed. We bring back out my shell to reset the weather. And Horn Leech, we are outspeeding. It's just going to almost dump on the T-Tar. But I get back a ton of HP. Going to go back into the green. 127. We love it. Rockside's gonna fly from you, doing some big time damage, and that KO in my Ogre Pod. Wow, yo, this T-Tar is hitting hard. This T-Tar is hitting hard, but one thing that's good is I'm kind of hoping that this that this Groudon KOs my my shell, and it does because now I can just get out my Weather Pokemon and be chilling here next turn. I can set up a War Belt no problem if I want to. I can set up a War Belt no problem. No problem whatsoever. So I'm going to go for a War Bell here. I could end up Terrastalizing my, uh... I could end up Terrastalizing my Kiram. But the problem with Terrastalizing Kiram here is, uh... It's fire, and ground is still weak to fire. So we might as well just keep our typings, right? Unless we want to Terrastalize Ninetales. Which, actually, I think I like a little bit better. We're going to Terrastalize Ninetales. Actually, do I just save it? Hold up, I want to check this thing's speed. I want to make sure my Kiram's out speeding. 154. You might not be out speeding. We might just have to go for an Icy Wind here. Instead of a War Bell. You know, we're going we're gonna to Terrasalize you go for a War Bell. And then I'm just going to go for a Blizzard. I'm going to keep my typing here. I'm going to keep my typing. So they're not swapping. We have the weather for the rest of the match, which is great. And we're Terrasalize Ninetales, because I would love to get off at least one more turn with Ninetales, because Icy Wind could just be so good. It could be so wonderful. So Kiram's speed's kind of mediocre, right? I'm really hoping it outspeeds, but I think Groudon could outspeed it here, especially if it's maxed out on speed EVs. And no, it doesn't. Beautiful. Cool. So we just end up picking up the double KO. We love it. Everything else was just a precautionary kind of thing. Right? The Terra was precautionary. Aurora Bell was precautionary. We love it. We love it. So Kirim doing a ridiculous mad damage here in match number two. And we take down our second opponent. Moving on to our final match. And we're going up against a Miraidon team. Now Miraidon, very strong, especially with its terrain. And we don't have any way of taking out terrain. So we're going to have to figure out ways around this. But something that screams at me is no weather control. Whenever I see no weather control, I am going into my snow squad every single time. So that's going to be my lead. I'm going to want a nice little fast Pokemon. So Chiyu is going to be great with the choice scarf. And furthermore, last but not least, it's either my Shao or Ogre Pond. And from here, I'm kind of leaning towards Ogre Pond a little bit, just because obviously we have Ivy Cudgel to deal with Incineroar. We have Horn Leech to deal with that uh, Sweet Coon. Rillaboom's a little annoying, but I like I like Ogre Pond here. I like it. So we're sitting one and one. Time for a winning record. Let's go two and one. Let's go two and one. We'd love a big time winning record, especially when we lose our first match. Everything seems down in the dumps at that point. Like, oh man, we're 0-1. We have to bounce back. We already bounced back in the last match. Looking to bounce back even more here. So, 1-1, one one, looking to go 2-1. They end up leading me right on and Jolteon. So, double electric versus double snow. So, I definitely want to pop a War Bell here. Definitely in my best interest. So, I'm going to go War Bell and probably just start throwing, uh, throwing Blizzards around. Because we're Assault Vest. We have Assault Vest. That's big time, up, especially up against these special attackers. So, I'm just going to go War Bell. Just go straight into a blizzard. Blizzard. Let's do it. So they could most likely terrestrialize me right on into straight electric, which is scary. That is scary because this thing does insane amount of damage, especially in electric terrain. Giving it that boost with the Terra is just even worse. So there is Terra. Is this straight electric? It's fairy. Okay, at least it's fairy. So we're not we're not dealing with an insane amount of damage. So fairy terror pops out here. Um I hope my Ninetales can just get this award off. And Thunder's gonna fly here. They might just double down and take it out. Can you outspeed here? You don't. 
No Aurora Bell for us. Tough news. No Aurora Bell for us. And they do some big time damage. No Aurora Bell. I hate that. We hate no Aurora Bell. Blitz is gonna fly here. It's gonna do some nice damage. Any freezes? Oh, we get one freeze. Show me two freezes. Give me two. Give me two. No, we only get one. But now's a great time to just pull out our choice scarf Pokemon. That's a real good time. Because if I could just land this Heat Wave. Woo! Should be a double kill, right? Most likely. So Heat Wave gonna fly here. Um, I mean we should just try to throw a Blizzard. That's exactly what we're gonna do here. Heat Wave, I just need you to land here. We froze the Miradon, but Freeze honestly is a terrible status condition. Most of the time they just unthaw in turn one. Heat Wave's gonna double connect. Does it double KO? It doesn't. We need a freeze here. We need a freeze turn. We need a freeze turn. What I said, it's just like the worst possible thing in the game. Freeze is just the worst. It's just the worst. It's just the worst thing ever. It honestly is. Like, I get a freeze and it just does nothing. The freeze did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. Not a single thing it did. Not a single thing. It did absolutely nothing. But from here, we're going to go into Ogre Pond. We are going to go into Chiyu here. And I feel like they're gonna, just going to uh, fake out the Chiyu, right? So, I mean, we get to Rasslice and Straight Ghost and just stick with our Heat Wave. I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to throw an Ivy Cudgel just right into this thing's face. Now comes our Terra. Hopefully, they're going for it to fake out into the slot. I know our Ogre Pond is minus one. But it still should do a nice chunk of damage with Ivy Cudgel and have crit chance, which we love. Yo, yeah, that's so annoying. It thing just thaws out. Freeze is just it's just the worst. It honestly is just the worst. So fake guy's gonna fly into the Chiyu. Good calls on our end to terrestrialize into that ghost. Heat wave is going to double connect, which is gorgeous. We get rid of Miraidon. Now I Ivy Country can fly here. But not not a bad second match right now. Not a bad second match. We honestly win this match, no problem, if that freeze gives us one turn. But Ivy Country gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? So close to being enough. So close to being enough. And this thing is leftovers. You are leftovers. Alright, so the final Pokemon. Oh man, it's just like the worst possible Pokemon. Is Rillaboom. Is Rillaboom. The worst possible Pokemon. That's gonna give him the win. That's gonna give him the win because they can just grassy glide me now. I mean, I'm gonna go for a Heat Wave. I'm definitely gonna go for an Ivy Cudgel here. And we'll see. Hopefully, not they just go for a fake out. Hold up. They're going to give me a turn? They're going to give me a heat wave turn? You gave me a heat. You just let me win the game. You just let me win the game. They go for the fake out. That's a big mistake. They could have just went for a grassy guide, take out Chiyu, and then turn us into a 2v1. Or pretty much a 1v1. Rollboom versus Ogre Pond. Honestly. I think they probably would have won, if, depending on what moves they have. Would have been kind of close, because I could just hoard Leech and slowly just keep hitting them and getting back HP. Actually, would have been really close, but they had a better shot if they would have just went for, the obviously, the uh, grass guy there. But hey, we'll take this all day. We're going to end up winning this match, no problem. 2-1 winning record on today's video. Love it. Kieran White absolutely thriving out. Come on, man. Nice little winning record on the channel yet again. Love grabbing ourselves some winning records, especially for you guys. Hope you guys still did enjoy today's video considering we only played one match on rank and two on casual. But the good thing about it was every single team that we versed had a restricted Pokemon, so they were all ranked eligible teams. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.